What is up, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It is your host, Galadon, and it is that time again. Clash of Clans dropped another update, and Galadon is going to gem it to max. And first things first, the earliest ever shout out for use code Galadon because these videos are made possible by contributions of those of you that use code Galadon in the game. Before you make purchases, it's so easy. Settings, more settings, scroll to the bottom, type in Galadon, and that is it. Doesn't cost you a penny. I get about 5% of what you spend in the game. We send half of it to charities every single month, and then the other half, it's going to help fund this. Also, we had some amazing Facebook gaming viewers as well. We will thank them a little bit later in today's episode. But let's get right into the purchases. Yes, we are going to buy everything now the supercell make stuff i'll tell you honestly i have a kind of mixed opinion about it because there are some amazing artists that have worked really hard to make these incredible sceneries and skins i feel like they deserve an even bigger reward something along the lines of a creator code automatically meaning they get a very small commission if you purchase the skin they designed or the scenery they designed right i feel like that would be fair but okay fine i'll buy it anyway and uh, if it was you that made these, thank you so much. They are very, very cool. The Savage, ah, they renamed it. The Fierce King, there he is, looking pretty savage though. Definitely has a Nordic Viking vibe, and I appreciate that being 40% Norwegian. Okay, of course the rest of the skins are very, very cool. The new classification system is here as well. And my favorite Barbarian King skin is probably still the warrior king i really like that one and i obviously really like the warrior queen as well those are still my favorites until the uh, astronaut series comes what wait what what did i say well just we'll talk about that in a future episode let's get back to buying the packages and now of course remember we aren't going to need all of these i have a ton of say books of heroes but we always buy everything in preparation for the next update. I don't currently need, say, Dark Elixir or Runes of Dark Elixir, but we bought it because next time they do an update, they'll likely add more hero levels or pet levels. So we're certainly going to buy everything over here. And then they cleverly disguise the shove it of obstacles in with a couple of books that I probably need. So we go ahead and buy that. And uh, yes, we have another shove it. Hey, there might be a cool seasonal obstacle like the ninth anniversary cake coming soon. And then Elixir, oh man. It's going to get painful. It's going to be so painful, you guys. And I'll tell you what. Let's buy some gems. Okay, so pack number one. Let's keep track. So far, one pack of 14,000 gems purchased in preparation for today's Gem to Max, which begins with the Wizard Towers. Now, the reason I decided to go with Wizard Towers is they were the most expensive. They take the longest to complete. And I wanted to make sure that we worked our way down from the most expensive because, well, of course, we're going to use hammers. We have the ability to use two hammers of building because we planned ahead. We bought one over a week ago, so the cooldown is gone. We pop into the league shop. We spend another 120 league medals on a hammer of building, and then we'll pick up a hammer of fighting while we're here as well. Probably, no, actually, no, it worked out. I was going to say I probably should have bought two of those, but you'll notice that I only had 99 league medals left. And don't worry, we will definitely spend almost all of them today. So two wizard towers are complete for free, right? That was nice. That felt good. The rest of them, well, luckily I had a ton of gold saved up. I believe this was maybe from the end of the May season pass. The season bank dumped in and overfilled me. Obviously, buying packages overfills. And if I stay in Legend League, I don't lose loot. At least I don't lose gold. Okay, so there we have Wizard Towers complete. They are done, and we are ready to move on to Air Defenses. Okay, the Air Defenses are pretty much the second most expensive and time-consuming upgrade. And this is where we begin this juggling of runes and amounts of gold and elixir that I have in the storages. And what I mean by that is we're doing our best to make sure that we exhaust whatever is in the storage before we use a rune because you're going to be wasting a ton of loot if you use a rune when you still have loot sitting in there. So we popped in and yes, I actually did one of the practice attacks. I, uh, yeah, I have not done these on almost any of my accounts. So a little bit of free loot. And the point here was to get the gold to 5.6 million, which you can see we almost exactly achieved that by attacking this 
practice base and then we can go over here pop one more wall and that will take us down to nearly exhausted right we only have 27,000 gold so now we can go ahead and use the rune we have several runes of gold elixir and dark elixir of course left you'll see me blaze through these relatively quickly i put a lot of this stuff on fast forward so you guys can just get through it and you don't have to be here all day like I was, but if you did stop by the Facebook live stream, I do appreciate you coming by. It was a lot of fun, and we had a lot of support from some amazing viewers that helped us get the gem to max done. I will say, this gem to max was a bit more expensive than I anticipated. I honestly thought this was a relatively small update, and it wouldn't cost us nearly as much as it did. But yeah, you'll see the gem costs are going to rack up, especially when it gets to walls in a few minutes. Feel my pain. You guys know how that's going to go. You saw it at the original Town Hall 14 gem to max. In the meantime, right now it's not that bad simply because we still have books left. We don't have to spend the 1800 or so gems to finish those upgrades. Went ahead and spent the existing wall rings that I had collected. Wasn't very many simply because we spent them again all at the Town Hall 14 update. We picked up a few more from the gold pass. Thank you very much. And we're going to spend those as well. We did everything we could to reduce the number of walls that I had to buy with outright gems. Because that is by far the worst. Unfortunately, we were one. That's right, one league medal short of being able to buy 10 more wall rings. So instead, I just bought the 10. And then I spent 25 on a little bit more gold. Just to get us up to uh, one more wall. And one more archer tower. And it's, yeah, it's confusing, but... During the live stream, I did go over exactly why I would buy resources versus gem it versus buy the entire storage versus, yeah, you get the point, right? It was it was pretty well planned out. I thought we did a pretty good job of being careful not to waste too much. Now, obviously, many of you are saying, Galadon, what you're doing right here is a waste because it's not going to make that big of a difference, especially walls. Who even cares? They don't do anything, but that's not the point. It's really become more of a tradition than anything else. If I were just casually playing or even seriously playing, I probably would not gem to max immediately and definitely would not have done the walls. But I got to do it. You guys expect it. And I know that a bunch of you use code Galadon because of these videos. And I thank you because it really, truly does offset the cost, which just went up by another $100 uh, because we bought another gem pack. Actually, we went ahead and bought two. And you'll notice here that they're trying to make sure that I actually want to buy that many gems. Make sure you confirm before you buy another 14,000 gems. And that took us to $300 spent in gems so far just to get to the point of the last archer tower. And yes, 1,811 gems to finish the archer tower upgrade. And regrettably, that means that every other upgrade like the giant bombs is going to require straight gemming for the time that it takes to finish that upgrade, which was 1,220 gems per giant bomb, which brought us to a grand total of 8,540 gems spent just on the time to finish giant bombs, which also feels like an incredible waste. And then here we go. We're out of gems, the worst screen ever for Galadon to see. But here we go. Another $100 spent. Okay, probably not just 100 right we, we generally i'm gonna buy like 200 at a time just to save a little bit of time so that is 500 dollars in gems bought so far in today's episode and that means we can finish the giant bomb they are all done looking good okay no visual change which feels kind of bad but hey, hey at least there's a visual change to the air bombs there they go from level eight to level nine looks so much better so much different dramatic improvement not really just kidding and there, there they go. Okay. Again, probably not something a regular player is ever going to gem. But what about some barracks? Okay, maybe not all four barracks, but we had to do it. We had to unlock the Dragon Rider. And I have to say, I do love the looks of the new level of barracks right there. And the windsock, kind of a cool little touch there. So you can tell when you're brewing and when you're not. Okay, now it's time to head towards the lab. And the lab, of course, we had a few other upgrades that we have to work on in addition to the new Dragon Rider. So what I did was I went ahead and upgraded the Dragon Rider first with regular loot and books because I wanted to see where the hammer would be most effectively spent. And what I mean is, is it going to be more expensive to, say, max out the Dragon Riders or max out an Electro Dragon? So yes, we held off. 
we went ahead and went in here, got the Dragon Riders up to level 3, and we found out that, yes, okay, level 5 E-Dragons are certainly more expensive, take longer, so we used the hammer on the E-Dragons, and we went back to spending the rest of the Elixir on walls, and we had some spare gold, then we use another Rune of Elixir, then we head back to the lab, because we've got, what, two more troops. Two more troops to get maxed out over here, the Dragons and the Balloons. And once again, probably not a troop that people would gem simply because, well, first of all, you probably have a ton of research potions saved up, or if you're like me, you have more than a ton. I could have shaved like 20 days off of the lab upgrade. No, okay, we, we waste the research potions because that would not be gemming to max, right? And if it's not gemming to max, it's not Galadon. Okay, here we go. We're almost done with the pain, but here comes the worst of it, right? 50 new walls, and we're shortly going to run out of any means to grab more loot. This is our last rune of elixir being used right here, and when that happens, well, the real gem pain comes in, and that's when we see also that it costs over $10 in cash US per wall upgrade. And now here we go, marking the uh, $600 in gems spent. Go ahead and buy one, and of course, as usual, uh, we buy two at a time. So $700 in gems spent in today's episode, or purchased, I should say, purchased in today's episode. And if we have leftover gems at the end, that's going to be okay because I still am going to be doing one gem donations for my clan members. So we always need to have some spare gems. There's no way we would spend all of those gems and need more, right? Okay, let's see what happens as we get down to the final 10 or so walls, moving things around. And, okay, fine. Yeah, we, 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 we ran out of gems again. So there is purchase number eight, $800 spent on gems, another 14,000, and I always buy in twos. So number nine, of course, I say I always buy in twos, but I bought an odd number, so go figure that one out. But anyway, $900 in gems, a total of 126,000 gems purchased for the update, a total of 126,000 gems purchased for today's video. And it takes us to this point where the final wall goes up. Gathered a tiny bit more gold, saved four gems. So only 1,821 gems for the final wall. But we're done. And special thank you to Legend, Winston, Brian, Kelly Joe, Zach, Joshua, Scott, and Hartley. You guys, amongst all of the Galafam, really stood out for this specific reason. The Gem to Max contributors, they helped out a great deal. So thank you guys. Shout out to all of you for helping out. All of you to watching who use code Galadon. But these special viewers also received the limited edition signed, sealed, and serial numbered 43mm clay poker chip. The Galadon Gaming Gem to Max commemorative chip. Thank you guys once again, and thank you, all of the viewers that keep the channel going, that come to the live streams, that watch the videos, especially those of you that watch all the way to the end. You guys are the reason that I can do crazy things with 19 different Clash of Clans accounts, and of course, fully max out my main account just about instantaneously every single time an update drops. Thank you, Galafam, once again for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know... You are the true hashtag Galafam, and that is why I love, think about, and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So know that you are loved and appreciated. Get out there and make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to the people, animals, and planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for Marvel Tax. Galadon, Galadon, these episodes are my favorite. I'm going to watch it 17 times.